So if you try to take a picture, it's below the trees. So I'm just wondering. if it even can take a picture. Oh my God. So it's been an exciting morning. As you are all aware that I was taking a picture of that comet Neowise. So I was actually waiting to take a picture of the comet like in the nighttime sky. But there are people who are trying to take like early in the morning before the sunrise as well. So I was kind of looking at and see if I have an opportunity to take the picture of comet Neowise. So if you want to take a picture early in the morning with telescopes, I think it is better to move the telescope like the night before, do all your polar alignment and keep the telescope running. And in the morning time, all you have to do is point the telescope in the direction of the comet and you can take a picture. So that's what exactly I did. So last night I moved this telescope outside. I tried to take a picture of uh, North America Nebula and in the morning at 4.30 I looked up my computer next to my bed and I saw when is this comet going to rise and it says 4.35. So I knew 4.35 is like pretty close to the horizon so I can wait like maybe another 10-20 minutes and then start taking pictures. Right around uh, 4.50, 5 o'clock I came outside, I looked up the comet coordinates and I thought like, you know, most of my experience of taking comets, those comets are pretty small. I mean, from a screen standpoint, you know, most of the experience that I have, the comets in the picture are small. So I have to stack several pictures of the comet to actually really see the size of the comet and also I take a video of the comet by stacking these pictures and looking at the motion of the comet in front of the stars. So I was thinking of the same when I was trying to take a picture of Neowise comet. I will show you guys the real video when I was capturing it. I will actually show you guys when I was capturing it live and the excitement I had. So the recording, I did not use any professional mic. So probably it didn't come the way I wanted to, but you will actually see the excitement yourself. I'll show you from the begin to the end. When I started looking at the location of the comet to when I actually started taking a picture of the comet, I'll show you um, the entire video. I'll show you the entire video. If you guys are interested taking pictures of these comets, I mean without a telescope, you don't need a telescope to take a picture of this comet. Even a 50 mm uh, camera lens will do it. All you have to do is point your camera, if it is in the morning, in the northeast direction and before the sunrise, way before the sunrise, even before it gets brighter, you should be able to locate the comet fairly quick. Uh, by the time you take a picture, chances are you may not be able to see a whole lot of stars there, but if you are pointing in the northeast direction generally, a 50 to 200 mm lens will cut it and you should be able to take a picture. Um, if you have a telescope, I'll show you guys how to uh, map the coordinates and take actually a much closer picture of this comet. So as per NASA, this comet is sizzling. This comet is like passing by the sun losing lot of material. While it is losing lot of material, it is putting lot of show. Uh, chances are when this comet goes down and come back in the night time, by the July 11th onwards, you should be able to start seeing this comet, not in the morning time, 
but in the evening time it will be actually visible when the sun is set and the comet is going to be on the top and in the evening sky you should be able to see this comet so i tried to look at it without the telescope i couldn't make out of it at all even though my red dot is pointing to the location of the comet i actually couldn't see the comet with my own eyes obviously with my telescope i can see it but not with my own eyes so don't expect yet that this comet is visible but as it moves into the nighttime sky it might even show up without a telescope that will be pretty exciting for us to see if we can see the comet without a telescope so i took the coordinates from the skylive.com website i pasted that into the sequence generator pro i slewed my mount the cgx mount i am using rasa 11 over there and as you see my excitement i was kind of wondering what the picture is going to look like i pressed a 2 by 2 for 18 seconds and i was just waiting anxiously for a picture to come and there it is i never saw anything like this before i usually have like smaller comets and this is like really big so if i try to actually plate solve it which is like an automatic way it won't do that so i'm using like the left and right arrow keys to slowly nudge the comet to the middle of the screen and once i move the comet to the middle of the screen i wanted to take 18 second exposure 2 by 2 winning so i took 18 2 by 2 and it's unreal even though i took several pictures i didn't need to stack them at all i just used like one picture to make the final image i hope you guys like the final image if you like this video please feel free to subscribe to my channel thank you for watching